Hello everybody and welcome back to the Michigan Insider, michigan.247sports.com. I'm Alejandro Suniga here honestly wrapping up fall camp as Michigan has voted on and elected its four captains for the 2024 season. The four captains in question are Donovan Edwards, Rod Moore, Makari Page, and fullback Max Bredesen. Now, as is tradition among the Michigan football program, the four are seniors, and seniors were the only captains or the only players who were eligible to be captains, and they chose, players chose, by voting two on offense, two on defense. So keeping the tradition alive of only seniors, splitting it between offense and defense, Michigan also elected two alternate captains in the event that, say, Rod Moore isn't traveling uh, because he's hurt. Uh, the two alternate captains are Josiah Stewart, the edge rusher, and Kalel Mullins, the running back. So those are your four plus two captains for the 2024 Michigan football season. Let's touch on the four official captains, starting with Rod Moore. Rod Moore, uh, the big breaking news uh, out of today, let's say, is that Rod Moore acknowledged that yes, he's gonna be coach Rod Moore for most of the year, but he is leaving the opportunity on the table that he could be player Rod Moore at some point. He, of course, is returning from an ACL injury that he suffered in spring ball. He gave us some details about that. He said it was a non-contact injury suffered while he was planting uh, while trying to make a play during a special teams drill. Of course, uh, an unfortunate break for him, an unfortunate break for the Michigan football program as a whole. He said, honestly, when it happened, he didn't know that he torn his ACL, uh, but obviously got the MRI that confirmed that, and it was hard on him. He said he cried. He said he struggled mentally for a few days. He ended up going out to California, getting some time on the beach by the ocean, resetting his mind before coming back and turning into what he's been, uh, which is essentially a coach on the field. Uh, obviously, he's a guy, he's a senior, he's been playing. You know, he started against Ohio State as a freshman. He has a lot of experience under his belt, and he's taken the safeties, the transfers in the defensive secondary under his wing and been the sort of leader uh, that gets you voted a captain, even if you're not going to be playing for the majority of the football season. On the offensive side of the ball, Donovan Edwards is a guy that, of course, we expected he was going to be a captain. Uh, he's one of the three players Michigan sent down to Big Ten Football Media Days last month in July. Uh, he's someone who, of course, had NFL aspirations last year, uh, and those NFL aspirations didn't come to fruition as Donovan had a season that didn't quite live up to his standards, uh, both on and off the field. He has talked extensively uh, this season or this offseason about how he sought mental health help, how he had to reset himself. He talked at length today about reading the book of Job uh, and using lessons from scripture, from literature uh, into his football playing career. Uh, Donovan Edwards, of course, we expect him to be the lead back for this team. Uh, we expect him, honestly, to have a better year uh, than he did last year, potentially without the pressure of, you know, last year Donovan came in knowing he was only going to get the third series. Uh, you know, Lake Horn would get series one, series two, and then it would be Donovan with limited opportunities. This year, he's the lead back. Uh, he knows he doesn't have to hit a home run on every play. He knows if he doesn't make a play properly, it's not that he's not going to get more touches uh, because he's a guy that Michigan's going to lean on both in the run game and in the pass game. And hey, he's the guy who's on the cover of the EA Sports video game. He's a guy who's been running camps for kids all throughout the offseason. He's a leader both on and off the field. So no surprise that he's a captain. You know, what might surprise people outside the Michigan football program is that Michigan elected a former walk-on and a fullback as a captain. That's Max Bredesen. Obviously, he's a guy who comes from, you know, a family that's cut from Michigan sports cloth. Of course, his brothers having played uh, Michigan athletics, including uh, with the football program a few years ago, and Ben Bredesen. Uh, Max Bredesen, a guy that we expect, again, to have a large role, even if it's not necessarily going to show up on the stat sheet. You know, he's a guy, if you look at plays from last year, if you look at the Rose Bowl touchdowns, if you look at the national championship, he's the guy clearing the path. Uh, for Blake Corum, for Donovan Edwards, for Kalel Mullings and others. We expect him to have a big year in that department, potentially even expanding his role as a pass catcher. He is technically a tight end. He's listed as a tight end and fullback on the Michigan roster. Uh, while we expect him to be majority of fullback, some tight end, including you know, maybe, maybe a couple first downs as we saw uh, him picking up a couple catches in the spring game. Uh, and the final captain, 
Macari Page. You know, Macari Page is not a player who talks a lot. You know, we sat down with him one on one. I sat down with him uh, for CBS Sports at Big Ten Media Days. He's not a guy who wants to talk. Uh, he's a guy who wants to show to show what he means through his play on the field, right? Uh, but what that means as a captain is that when he does talk, when he does open his mouth, when he has something to say, his players, his teammates are going to listen because he's not someone who is the most outspoken player. You know, he's a guy with Rod Moore's injury uh, who is going to have an outsized role on this defense, both as a player and as a leader. You know, McCarty acknowledged, listen, I was always expecting to be a leader on this team even before Rod Moore got hurt. But after the injury, he knows he's maybe going to have to step up a little bit more on game days when Rod Moore isn't playing, and especially because Michigan is also welcoming four new faces into that defensive secondary as transfers. That's, of course, Jaden Mangum, Wesley Walker, Amir Hall, and Ricky Johnson. There's the four. So those are your four captains. Uh, and then, of course, Josiah Stewart, Kalal Mullings, two seniors, one on the offense, one on the defense. We didn't get a chance to talk to them today. Uh, but we've had a chance to talk to them throughout the fall. You know, Kalal Mullings, a guy who's played a number of roles on this football team, whether it's on defense, whether it's on special teams. Now, of course, as a running back, a guy that Sharon Moore said is potentially one of the more underrated players in the Big Ten, if not the country. We expect a lot from him uh, because, as mentioned, he played linebacker for the first half of his college career. He's only had a couple of years under his belt as a full-time running back. This feels like he could be the thunder uh, to Donovan Edwards Lightning this fall. And Josiah Stewart, of course, Coastal Carolina transfer, struggled early last year, I think getting up to speed to the Big Ten level. Uh, but by the end of the year, we saw what he could do. Uh, of course, everyone remembers that Rose Bowl winning play as he pushes an Alabama offensive lineman uh, into the path of Jalen Milrow, helps Michigan win the Rose Bowl. Anyway, uh, those are your four captains plus two. We will have no more from fall camp because fall camp is over. Next week when we talk, we will be in game week. It is Fresno State. We will be back on Monday with updates from Sharon Moore and players as they finally transition from the off season to their 2024 regular season as they defend their national championship, go for four straight years in the college football playoff, four straight years as Big Ten champions, and who knows, maybe trying to repeat in the natty as well. For everyone at 24-7 Sports, I'm Alejandro Suniga. We'll see you next time.